A recurring motif on this channel is we complain and we we uh, rage against the machine when the national media jabroni haircuts just always press down on the scale, never give the Minnesota Fighting Vikings the time of day. But when the pendulum swings the other way and the national media is actually on the jock of the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, it makes me feel itchy like i i'm not sure if i like it and colin cowherd has really pulled a 180 traditionally he's been a bit of a vikings hater uh, but then again most of the jabroni haircuts are the jabroni media industrial complex and they're just against the vikings at all times but he's really pulled a 180 whether it's him and his outlandish prediction that the vikings double their win total from last year which was eight by the way and they go 16 and one but he's doubling and tripling down now I respect Coward and that I actually think that he believes this. And it's one thing if he just made an offhanded comment, uh, because I, I think he actually predicted that the, the Vikings would double their win total in some segment about the Bengals, just an offhanded, uh, off the top of the dome comment. But when you're putting it in cement, which he did on uh, on Wednesday, talking about his uh, playoff predictions as well as how he thinks that the standings are going to shake out, that that's putting it out there. That's putting... It on the table, and he went through division by division, picking the winners and the losers. <laughs> and oh, oh, M Mr. Franklin's lonely. Look at that. Minnesota Fighting Vikings up at the top of the NFC Norris division. The Greasy Grime Green Bay Packers checking in at two. Now, he still has the Packers making the playoffs, which whatever and he, he talked about how the Packers still have Rodgers and Lafleur, but Rodgers doesn't trust the young receivers or whatever I, I don't know but he he went on a very interesting diatribe uh, about the Vikings now of course it always comes back to Mike Zimmer uh, when you talk about the Vikings underachieving last year and rightfully so but this is what he said Quote, I've told you I think the Vikings are the shock of the league. They got a new coach, a coach that is pro-offense. Kirk Cousins did not have a strong relationship with Mike Zimmer for two years. They lost more close games than anybody in the league. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was pretty rough. Uh, also, the fact that the Vikings had a six or seven point lead in the majority of the games that they lost as well. Uh, that's, uh, that's tough, man. Uh, I think Cousins, who has some limitations, will feel supported. I, I think part of his issue in these big games, he didn't believe Zimmer supported him. Now, I, I understand what you're saying. Well, he's a professional, and uh, he should just go out and do his job. Well, really, right? So you have the head coach who allegedly may not have believed in you. And if the head coach doesn't believe in you, why the hell should your teammates believe in you? So it's really hard to rally up the troops and be the true leader of men on a team when you're constantly being undermined. And also the fact that you're running an offense from the 1920s doing the Charleston, na 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 Nucky Thompson's uh, up here just running booze on your offense. That, that's what happened. Delaware wing T, Kubi offense. Get the hell out of here. Uh, he, he continued. I uh, think part of the issue, blah, blah, blah. Didn't believe they support him. Uh, they'll be the most improved team in the league. I think they'll be 13 and 4. So this is him putting it on the table, not just shooting from the hip. Oh, I think the Vikings won uh, six, seven games last year. We'll say double the win total. No, he put it on wax, 13 and four, wanting some more. Because if you look at the schedule, find me five losses. I, I, I just... I, I, I just don't see him anywhere. It, it's extremely hard to see. I mean, you, you may need uh, that new James Webb telescope to try and five five losses on this uh, schedule. You just absolutely do not see it. And then Kyle Hurd, uh for the rest of his playoff predictions. So he's got the Eagles winning the East almost by default. He thinks that the East is going to be horrible this year. I agree. Uh, the Bucks winning the South, mainly due to the play of tight end one Kyle Rudolph. Yeah. Uh, then you got the West, uh, the the Rams winning the division. He's got he's actually got the Rams, the the Niners, and the Cardinals making the playoffs. Oh yeah, it shows it there. And then the Packers are a wild card team. So now th these aren't in order. They, it doesn't talk about seeding, but the Vikings uh, are either seeds one through four. And if they go thirteen and four, that's going to put them in some pretty pretty good position for the number one overall seed. And I mean, what a turnaround that would be. Even though it wouldn't necessarily be a turnaround, it would just be uh sanding some of the edges just like taking away uh, some of the very close marginal spots last year having uh some puck luck go your way and then all of a sudden the vikings with an infectious culture in the locker room as well as great leadership all of a sudden getting it done Whew. love it man i love it even though i i still don't trust cowherd like i trust him as far as i can throw him it, it is nice it is nice that he's telling it like it is, as opposed to the usual media line of just like, oh, well, yeah, the, the Vikings just landed on Mars. They found a cure for cancer. They, they made uh, world peace, uh, but they're still garbage. Still garbage.
that's right. Anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. Colin Cowherd predicts that the Vikings will go 13 and four and win the NFC North. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Must support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.